Hello, everyone. Hi, good to be with you. So, sorry we're not going to be meeting for class this weekend, but we still wanted to be with you. So, Mr. Darrell and I are going to um, guide you through some prayers for some of the lower grade levels. And parents, there's some tips in here to help you to teach your kids these prayers at home. You know, and this will be online for quite a while. Yes. If you ever need help with praying, just come hit the button. We'll pray with you. We'll show you how to do it. Got good examples here. And mom and dad are always a great example to help you with prayer. So this is going to be, this tape is going to be for pre-K, kindergarten, and first, and first grade. grade. And we'll let you know when we're at the end of your grade level and starting the next. And the reason we combine the three of these, some of these are very basic introductions to how to pray. But some of our preschool families, if the parents are praying with their kids on a regular basis, they may already be getting some of these first grade prayers. Yeah. So. And I think there are a lot of the, the prayers that the kids have heard and have tried to say with their parents. They may not know them by heart, mm -hmm. but they're at least familiar with the way that the prayers sound. Right. Right. So one thing I don't know if you know, um, let me show you this real mm -hmm. quick. Um, each child in our program, we create a prayer record with their name on it, and it'll have their grade level in which they came into the program. And so we keep track. Every year we ask the teachers to assess how the students are doing and learning these prayers, mm -hmm. and if they're kind of up to speed where their grade level should be, or if they need more practice at home. Mm -hmm. So you can help us out by getting this started. And it's a great monitor for us and for the parents to be able to see. And what we do, like next year, these will be passed on to the teacher of next year's class so that they see how the children did the previous year. So we can always keep track of the child's prayer life. Okay, so we're gonna begin with the sign of the cross. And when we're teaching this to the youngest kids, we use a mirror, mirror. in our classrooms. Mm -hmm. It's a really great way, you just put the numbers on the mirror, you can use a dry erase marker or a tape or whatever you wanna use. Mm -hmm. And just mark a one and a two and a three and a four. So the kids just follow the numbers and then they're doing it correctly. We always use our right hand when we make the sign of the cross mm -hmm. and also when we get holy water, when, when we go we to church. Even right. though when we come in, it's on the left side, mm -hmm. we still reach across with our right hand to dip our fingers into the holy water and bless ourselves, okay? And so many of our little ones have a hard time with doing it the correct way. But that mirror example, that is a great way for them to learn how to do it correctly and with the right hand. So are you ready to pray with us? Let's begin. In, In the, the name, name of the, the Father, Father, and of and the, the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. That was an easy one. That was great. Yeah. We're pretty good. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay. One of the other things the younger kids are going to be working on is um, participating in an echo response prayer. So parents, you can say part of the prayer and have your child repeat it back to you. Mm -hmm. So like for instance, our bedtime prayers, mm -hmm. as you're tucking them in, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> if you're saying grace before your meals, which I hope you are, mm -hmm. um, the kids don't know the prayers yet. So you say it and they copy you. Those are real easy ways to pray. Let's try okay. grace before meals. That's sure, right. sure. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Why don't Why don't I start and you copy? You start, yeah. Okay? So you would do it like this. Bless us, O That's Lord. Right. Bless us, O Lord. And these thy gifts. And these thy gifts. Which we are about to receive. Which we are about to receive. From thy bounty. From thy bounty. Through Christ our Lord. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And before you know it, the kids are going to have these prayers. Another thing very important, especially with the younger grades, is to establish that foundation of gratefulness. Always turning to God with grateful hearts and yep. saying thank you to the many gifts he's given us. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're called, really, thank you prayers. And we are thanking, for God, thanking God for all the good things in our life. For example, thank you for my mom and dad. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for my friends. Thank you, Lord, for my grandparents. There's no end to the ways that we can thank God for all the good things we have in our lives. And we want to make our children aware of all the good things that God has given us. And as adults, we know when somebody does something for us, we say, thank you. So the thank you prayer is really thanking God for all the good things that he's given us. All right, so those are easy to do. I think, I think you've got this part. 
Um, a good practice is to, is to um, at bedtime, <clears throat> when you're praying with your kids, ask them to name two things they're thankful for from the day. And not just say thank you to the, to the air, but specifically thank you to God. Mm -hmm. Thank you to God. That is really truly where our yes. blessings come from. Yep. That's great. All right, and Daryl, you wanted to do this next one, Prayer Through Song. Yeah, you know, just s simple kinds of songs, like at night, if you're going to bed. We could just do something like, Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Whatever prayer you say at night, you could turn that into a song. You can put any tune you want to it. Music is a very important form of prayer. And we want kids to know that from an early age, that music is a form of prayer. And kids love to sing, especially the younger kids. They're very animated when they do it, and they love to sing. And it comes from their heart. The song of prayer comes from their heart. So whatever they want to pray to God, they could do it in song and make up their own tune to it. If you want to see your kids animated and singing mm -hmm. praise, um, go on YouTube and look up look up the song, Let Everything That God Made Say Thank You, Thank You, Lord. And it's about how all the animals in the forest say thank you, God. And it, it's really cute, lots of hand motions, but the kids love, love it when it. we do it here for joyful praise. Wonderful. All right. Another thing very important for our young kids, and this can be a skill that may take some time, depends on your child, mm -hmm. but helping them to be still and quiet for prayer time. Yeah. So sometimes that just means, okay, we're gonna be stopping for prayer in a couple of minutes, so let's get ourselves quiet for prayer time. And it's important to get them quiet before the prayer starts. So they get in that mode that when they do pray, it's a quiet, peaceful time. I could be going nuts, I could be fidgeting, I could be fidgeting. But when it comes time for prayer, I have to know, I have to center myself. I have to quiet myself down as best I can because I'm going to be talking to God at this point. And I want to present my best self to God. Parents, you may struggle with this yourselves. Sometimes um, it's time to pray, so we're supposed to stop everything, but you've got 100,000 things on your mind, things you didn't finish for the day, things you're worried about. Um, turn those over to God. It happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I, we say grace every night before dinner. I had in my mind a song I had to sing, so I couldn't even think of grace before. <laughs> and Miss Joni had to help me out. But that, that's a normal thing that happens to people. We shouldn't be ashamed of it. We know how to correct it, and we move on. But we always pray to God. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be embarrassed to pray in front of people, it, but it takes practice. Yes. I remember one time for vacation Bible school, we were getting ready to say grace before mm -hmm. our meal, and Father Michael had come in the room, and <clears throat> all of a sudden I went blank on the prayer that we were going to do, right? Exactly. For grace, and, and it was simply the Our Father. So I turned to him and I said, how does the Our Father start? <laughs> so it happens to all of us. It's okay. And it's fine. It's a normal thing. And we want kids to feel comfortable praying. So the, the for our pre-K kids, you know, singing the prayers, making themselves quiet and centered when they do pray, repeating prayers with the parents. These are all wonderful ways to get kids ready for prayer. And that's what we expect from the pre-K. Um, we also can offer prayers of petition to God. Yes. So when we need something, and I don't mean um, like worldly goods, you know, we're not praying to win the lottery, parents. <laughs> but when we really need something from God, like, um, say a family member is sick, and you want to ask God for help. Um, God, please be with uh, Grandma, who's not feeling well today. Um, please be with Aunt Lucy, who got COVID. Um, whoever you want to pray for, turn to God and, and ask God to be with them. God, please help me be nicer to my younger sister. You know, any, any kind of prayers that they think they need help with, that they need anything in their life that they think could ask God for help and they could get better at that thing or they could ask God to help someone else that's important in their lives those are the kind of petition prayers that we talk about with the preschool kids and parents it takes a big load off of our shoulders when we exactly. realize we don't have to fix the that's world right. we turn it over to God and we let him do it mm -hmm. 
It takes a load off the parents' shoulders, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Absolutely. Just to know that they have the help Turn of God in their lives. That's right. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what we do with our preschool kids. <clears throat> For kindergarten, we want to introduce them to some new prayers. The Hail Mary, the Our Father, and the Guardian, Guardian Angel, Angel Prayer. Mm -hmm. So some of your preschool kids um, may still be wanting to, to start learning these prayers. So we wanted to include them in this group as well. But for kindergarten, this is important that we introduce these prayers. Um, we don't expect that they're going to have them memorized yet, mm -hmm. but it's really cool if they do. And mm -hmm. they're certainly capable. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are looking for... The Hail Mary. All right. Let's start with that one. This time of year, it's really cool to look at where that came from, too. Mm -hmm. The Christmas, right. story, the Christmas it's, story, it's all over the place there. Mm -hmm. All right, so again, we begin with the sign of the cross, and so that's another good practice for the sign of the cross. Sure. In, in the, the name, name of the Father, Father and, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, the Lord is with you. you. Blessed, blessed art thou amongst women, women and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now, now and, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, you might have noticed Daryl and I did some different words at the same time. That's okay. So, um, one of the older styles of praying the Hail Mary is um, some older language, some older words that the kids might not be used to hearing. Like thou. I said thou. Mrs. Smith said you. I'm old. That's the way I learned it when I was a little kid. And like we said, blessed are you amongst women mm -hmm. or among, among women. women. Either way is fine, so don't worry about it. Yeah. Just pick one and teach that one to your child. Okay? And in the prayer books that we gave the children, it's the way that Mrs. Smith said it. It's in today's language rather than the way I learned it when I was a kid. Either way is fine, but they have that in the prayer books, which are great useful things for you and your family to have in practice with the kids. Right. And when you're praying with other people, you pray it your way and that's right. fine. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't have to learn the other way. You don't have to feel uncomfortable if somebody else is saying it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay? All right. Um, the next prayer is the Our Father prayer. Mm -hmm. I go too far. Mm -hmm. That's okay. I know it. We're good. I know that one. All right. So <clears throat> the Our Father prayer is a prayer that Jesus himself taught us. So this is a really cool prayer. It's a cool prayer, and, and boys and girls, you're going to notice, we say this prayer at Mass. Every time we're at Mass, we say the Our Father at a certain point in the Mass. It's a very, very powerful prayer. Mm -hmm. So, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. In the name of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, and, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And again, we're introducing it in, in kindergarten. Uh, um, but the more often you pray it together, together, the quicker your kids are going to pick it up. Does that mean we, the kids have to know it by heart by the end of kindergarten? Absolutely not. They're going to have years to practice this. But to introduce them to it so that it becomes familiar to them. The more they hear it, the more automatic it will become to them. The more heartfelt they'll be able to say it. And the more we, we fill our kids with these prayers, mm -hmm. the more power they, ha they have over their circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, then they're not scared if something happens at school. They're not worried if somebody gets sick. They know what to do with these That's emotions. A really they good turn point. it over to God. That's a really good point. That there are times in their lives when you're not going to be around. Like at school, that was a great idea. And they could pray to God in school. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could say a little prayer to God. It's going... It's going to ease them. It's going to make them feel more comfortable in that situation. Knowing that mom and dad are not there to help, God's always there to help. We can always pray to God. You know, I know sometimes little kids are uncomfortable meeting new people, starting mm -hmm. school, especially with COVID. It's had us yes. so separated from people. So sometimes coming back together might cause a little anxiety with the kids. Mm -hmm. So just re remind them that even if you, you can't be there with them during the day, right. God is always God's with always. them. Yep. And all they have to do is just stop and say a little quiet prayer in their hearts. 
Dear God, help me not to be nervous today. Yep. It's as simple as that. Yep. Perfect. Okay, here's a really powerful prayer as well. And this is the last one for the kindergarten group. This is the guardian angel prayer. This is not just a kid's no, prayer. It's an adult prayer. Right. But it's a very important prayer because we all have a guardian angel. Yeah. And the sooner we realize that, the better off we all are. So we like to introduce this prayer in the kindergarten stage. The kids need to hear this prayer because it's such a powerful prayer for each person individually. Ready? Can right. we try it? Let's try it. In the name of the, the Father, Father, and of the Son, Son and, of and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Angel, Angel of God, my, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commit commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It helps remind us we have a guardian angel with us. And that God is always with us. It's such a powerful thing and a comforting thing for everybody to know that. And in times that we're stressed, to be able to say the guardian angel, it reminds us we're never alone. So we like to introduce that at kindergarten. Those are basically the three that we do in kindergarten that right. we at least introduce them to right. and have them know. And for first grade, we're not going to take it a whole lot further. No. Um, we've already prayed the grace together. We did grace together, mm -hmm. and that's one that we expect for the first graders to do. Mm -hmm. And there's also, there's a grace before meals. There's a grace after meals also. I was never really familiar with this one. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm not seeing it in the book here. It's not in your book? Let me see if I have it in my book. Or maybe book. it's not. I'm just not seeing it in order. Let's see how we it's got it. here. The Jesus prayer. We have lots of prayers in this booklet. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't even have to be certain memorized words. You could just say thank you to God for this meal that you just got to share with your family and for the family that got to come together to share it. It could be a very simple prayer. Okay? So we're not going to worry about that one right now. The Glory Be is the only new prayer we're going to introduce for first grade. Mm -hmm. And the first graders should actively be practicing the Hail Mary and the Our yeah, Father. Father. So here's the new prayer. This is so easy, you're not going to believe it. Yes. It's it's um, kind of just like the, like the sign of the cross. It almost is. Okay. So we're not going to do the sign of the cross with no. this one just because we don't want to confuse you. Right. But it goes like this. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Short to the point, but look how powerful that is. Let's do that one more time. And listen, I want you to listen to the words. Ready? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it, As it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning is, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. It is honor to the past, the present, the future. Glory to God always. It's mm -hmm. a very powerful, short prayer, but yet says a lot. And that amen at the end, mm -hmm. parents, do you know what that amen means? It means yes, yes. I agree. Mm -hmm. So that's a very powerful ending. Yes. All right, so that's it for our preschool, kindergarten, and first graders. Um, enjoy your prayer time together. Yes. Uh, parents, if you if you need any other resource or resources or help from us, please just get in touch with us. Give us a call. We're happy to help. And we're going to leave this video on. So anytime you want to do this with your kids or the kids want to see and practice prayers, we're here and we can practice with them. Just play the video and we can practice the prayers. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us.